and hello everybody what's up guys Luke here again and today we are going to be doing something a little different as you may be able to see we are playing a game from 1997 this game is Formula 1 1997 so if we just go back to the beginning we do a Grand Prix we can select through the menus this is a PlayStation 1 game if you're curious this is the first recording I have ever done um, where I am voicing over a PS1 or PS2 game. So, I think we're going to go with... Let's have a look, shall we? Hmm. I think we should go with... Silverstone. So, it looked in 1997. Single race. Gyro select. Hmm. I don't want to be Tyrrell or Benetton or... Any of these, let's get the mouse out of the way just in case it, that is recording. Um, let's be Mika Hakkinen. Okay. So, there we go. Race length, shorts, skill setting, novice, steer assist off. Right. We only want the race, we can have damage on, failures can be on, weather can be sunny, tire wear can be on, fuel, all that on, on. Cool. So, let's begin. Start session. I have never ever played this game on the computer before. Um, so this could well be interesting. There is going to be a little bit of background interference noise. dramatic change is the flattening of the top corner to make it faster. So, we should see some overtaking there. Back in now. Okay, and that was the voiceover from Murray Walker. So, let's see how this goes. I know that from experience this looks a lot better on YouTube than it does on my screen, which is just as well because it's quite grainy for me. Uh, the YouTube processing does all Makes a big improvement with that, and whoops! Oh no, there's a collision! And reverses circle apparently, and I'm in trouble. And I think I may have lost a wing because my car does not want to handle anymore. Okay, that's my. Um, That was me messing around with the camera angle, apparently. Select does something, and I'm not sure what that was doing. And I want to change camera. Not like that, that's not changing camera, that's changing angle. And oh shit, I've hit the grass and... Oh! Look at this. Look at this. I think it might be best to retire from the race and try again. Don't you? And then we get a little bit more background interference. I'm not sure if it's the PS2 or the capture device. In fact, I'm not sure if most of the issues are the PS2 or the capture device. I know this PS2 is a little finickety. It doesn't look Grand Turismo 4, which is really annoying. And yeah, let's just ignore that. And let's try this all again. Whoops. Okay, I nudged the microphone and I heard it. Static, hopefully that doesn't affect the recording too much. But I know I'm having issues with the port, microphone port as well. Come on, load, load, load. We go. Damon Hill driving for arrows. <laughs> arrows Yamaha. Now I'm starting for 20 seconds with Mika Hakkin. Ah, uh, look how those wheels are so, so well connected. The suspension visibly. Whoa. Playing this game on this screen is not a good idea, as the screen is just too big for it. And I've hit the wall again, but this time I'm not a million miles behind everybody else yet. I will be though, because I haven't played this game in ages and it's not very easy playing on this particular screen. Um, not very easy at all. Um, 
modern IPS panels and PS1 games are not the best mixers, even if the quality was top notch, and this unfortunately is not for me. Hopefully, it will look alright on YouTube. I mean, I'm playing it full screen as well, which does not help. And I don't know where the braking zones are. It's been so long since I've played a racing game, really, of this sort. I played Burnout a few times recently, and I've played Race 07, which, but it was certainly not at Silverstone. Um, certainly wasn't the PS1 game, and I have overtaken someone. I'm no longer asked. Magnuson is who I passed now. He is the Tyrrell driver, I believe. Whoa! Easy, Tiger. I'm not quite sure what's going on with the sound, if that's not being picked up properly, or if it really is just getting confused with other cars. Oops! Oops. Okay, the car doesn't want to steer now. It really doesn't want to steer. Oh, God. Well, I think we've concluded that I can't play this game. Oh, well, let's go and try another game mode. And that's cool. That's Mr. Schumacher, whom, unfortunately, at the time of this recording, he's in a coma. Um, he's being brought out of it, and I can only hope that he is... Um, able to get out of it in as much of a one piece as possible. Not always easy, but let's do an arcade mode. Fuck it, let's do the easy difficulty. So, so Hockenheim, and then you can see the comparison of the cars here. Ooh, Garros is not very fast, but it's pretty decent handling. Stewart, Jordan, Frost. I mean, to some people, this may bring back a lot of memories. Tyrrell's very good under braking, apparently. Williams don't seem that impressive, considering how good that car was in real life. That's an interesting one. Race. So now we're at the Hockenheim circuit in its traditional high speed, high danger, high everything mode, and that's a nice view of a McLaren next to a Ferrari. Um, yeah. Now we've just got to wait for the background music to play, and I speak over it as much as possible to try and get rid of the any copyright bullshit. Okay. How we are playing in arcade mode. Note how the dials change completely. And we have little hints of background music, which hopefully won't get be too much of a problem. Uh, uh, hang on. Did I just go through that car? Really? Ah, uh, PS1 era. Doing 190 miles an hour. And only six speeds in my gearbox. Time extended. Um, I have no idea what happened there. It glitched slightly and then I missed my braking. And, yeah, now I'm 15. <laughs> um, okay, so, you can see that everything changes slightly in arcade mode. You don't start spinning out whenever you hit the grass, for example, and the cars are a bit more sideways, apparently. Pressing L1 puts the throttle. That's just unhelpful again. I can just drive straight through all of the cuts. It's quite amusing, actually. I could almost treat this track as some sort of deluded oval time. Extended. Oh no! Oh no! He's off. I'm doing 114 miles an hour on grass and gravel. Seems legit. Um, yeah. So, as you can see in arcade mode, it really is arcadey. It stops pretending, it stops trying to be a racing simulation. And it just, just pretends you're a Formula 1 drift car um, with very little problems for touching the grass. I'm extended. 15th position. Not doing very well. Considering that I should, in theory, have one of the best cars that there was at the time. Nope, not going to this. 
200 plus miles an hour. So what happens then, if I just do this? Uh, wow. <laughs> ah, okay, racing is its finest. I can just say, fuck you, corner, and just plow it regardless. So, we can boost down the back straight, and there we go. Completely legal overtake, and I don't care. Nice advert for Hitachi. Rather it was LG. <laughs> or Seagate. Uh, it's actually we weren't really into hard drives at that point. I'm pretty sure they were building monitors. That was completely not to be a role, an anecdote, so yeah. Renault Laguna. My dad had a Renault Laguna of this era. It was a 2000 car. Um, and I quite enjoyed it. I was quite disappointed when we replaced it, but. Of course, 1997 was the year of the Laguna. If you are a British touring car fan, or Iraq, who remembers back that far, I certainly do, even though I was free. Soccer touring cars was a game I loved. Absolutely loved it. I will be playing Tocker World Touring Cars, if this recording works, um, at some point on here, because that, that's a PS1 game. So, stay tuned for that one, if this course works. If it doesn't, then we'll never hear from it again. Time extended. Let's just cut the chicane. My Williams is going quite quickly. Okay, let's hit the top speed, let's go as fast as we can, hit the brakes, overtake, do some really strange things going past that salva, but who cares. Now we're up the inside of a frost, as opposed to up the inside of a prostitute, which would be a bit more problematic. Um, yeah, onto the power, woo, no position. I remember correctly, this was the first year Pro the Frost actually competing, and they were still using the Joe Schessler um, chassis numbers like Ligier had been. Whoa. It's been a while since we've had a proper French attempt at the championship, so ever since Renault pulled out. Whoa. I was doing things properly anyway. And this really doesn't feel like an F1 car in this arcade mode. It feels like a drift car. Best time, I hope that's the second time. <laughs> um, also, I'm pretty sure that I might actually end up running out of time if I'm not careful because I'm pretty sure that my lap time is not really enough to keep this arcade going. Whoops, certainly not when I'm doing that. Um, this might be a problem. And P8, and the other cars are not yet visible. Whoops, no, let's get back on the track. No, 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 bad, bad, bad. Go, 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 car, go. Under the Hitachi banner. Sounds not too bad given the game's age. Um, obviously. I remember playing a lot of this sort of vintage game 10 years ago now, admittedly. But back then, I used to get loads and loads of 5 quid sold out games. Um, that's why I built my Windows 98 machine, which there was some very ancient footage on my um, channel, of course. I have to delve back a couple of years, I think, now. So it's the last one I really did. I should probably do a video of that, but. I might have to try and work out how to set, get rid of some of the shutter noise on my new camera. That might help, and I am going to be in trouble, I think, because I don't think I have enough time to complete this section. I do. I definitely do. But I'm pretty sure time is running out. Also, I have no idea where the next car is, and I don't like that. There it is. I'm about to overtake him on the gravel. And I've hit my teammate, and I've gone past the McLaren. Williams passing McLaren. Could that be something that happens this year? Who knows? 
Formula One is definitely looking interesting. Um, particularly if the Red Bulls don't get their act together quickly. We might actually have something interesting for once. I do like the historic sort of shading of the tyres, which we've got two different toes as if they spin, as if to show that's actually spinning. Very clever. I'm sure some of you are going to be really annoyed at how little regard I have for the track limits, but I don't care. In all honesty, time extended. Race, race, yes, power slide, power slide, power slide. Of course, this section should be familiar to even those who are younger and do not remember the classic Hoffenheim. Or have not played games with it in. Because it's very, very similar to the one that is there at the moment. And we have finished and with some sparks. I think that's a decent place in which to call this video. So, if you enjoyed, please leave a like, please comment. And if you haven't already subscribed, and particularly if you want to see me play some more PS1 or PS2 titles, let me know, and I will do so. Uh, if I get a viewer request, I will try and fulfil it as much as I can. And I have got the well done message. So yeah, I hope to see you guys here in the very near future. This is Luke, wishing you a good day.